All right, everyone, welcome back to a brand new unboxing video. Now, uh, in the last video, we actually just unboxed Armored Core 4, but I didn't really get too far into the game when I realized there's really nothing to do other than finish their mission. And I think we got a pretty good look at the game at the beginning, but that would be it, and we'll, we're going to move on to Dels X. Or Deuce X, whatever you, however you want to pronounce it. Um, what does that say? Human Revolution. All right. So I'm assuming it's going to be some sort. Of, well, I was told by the account guy that this is a half robot type of man here. You know, although he doesn't look like he's half robot, but apparently he is. There's it probably it might be some shooter game. I'm not really sure, but it's bare. <laughs> It's published by Square Enix, and I used to be a big fan of them, especially Squaresoft, and of course this one as well. But we're gonna open it, and then we'll, we'll take a look at the stuff. All right, so just opening. Hey, what is that thing? There's a code in here. All right, hold up. <laughs> you gotta slide that code out because I don't know what it is. All right, unlock the explosive mission pack. All right, so we got a code. I'm not sure if it will work, but they have a manual. Now I, sh I know there's a director's cut, except uh, <laughs> he, I guess he didn't pick this one up. But here it is. I guess he is half robot. I'm not really sure. He, may, maybe it's like Terminator where he, well, not Terminator. What is that? Robocop, Robocop. Maybe it was like Robocop. <laughs> where only his head is available but other than that uh, some advertising stuff black and white design I'm not too thrilled with that but you know they should really post more gameplay on on the on the manual or on the box because hey if I'm out I probably don't know what this game is like unless you're connected to the internet and all all right the truth will change you yada yada All right, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is kind of like RoboCop. To save his life after a deadly attack, isn't that like the same thing with RoboCop? He had no choice but to physically augment his with cyber <laughs> magnetic stuff. All right, driven by yada yada. All right, so let's zoom in here. Let's see if he, we can see his cyborg stuff. I think that is it. I think it's black. The, the... The stuff is black, the robotic stuff. So that's really cool because if it, if you're buying utensils and things like that, usually I buy the black metal ones. I don't like the ones that are silver. Not that, you know, it, it just kind of looks better. But I'm not sure who this guy is. Of course, I haven't played the game yet. So we're going to have to, we'll, we'll get a first look at it. But anything by Square Enix is is at least okay because I think they're a pretty good publisher of course you know with Final Fantasy I'm not sure you know I can't be I can't be vouching for it because I don't play their games that much anymore but in the in the past their games were amazing I loved it but we'll, we'll have to see how this is and actually who is the developer that's the thing because usually right usually now uh, these guys don't develop things. They just publish them. So I think either this guy or this guy or maybe one of them is the developers. Because usually in the past, what would happen is these these guys are the developers. Now they're just publishers. So they, they publish the stuff for smaller developers. So, so I'm not sure how it is. We'll, we'll have to see how the game is. But anyways, that was the unboxing video. We're going to be looking at this in the next video.